feel like I feel like we're gonna do good. You know what I mean? We have the coach, the staff is gonna prepare us. You know what I mean? No matter who's out there, they're gonna be ready. No matter who it is, and you know we're gonna be in position to make plays. And you know we're all good athletes here. We're all good football players, or we wouldn't be here. So that's, I'm not concerned about that at all. Mm -hmm. Does it does it worry you at all that people are talking about you as a leader for this this defense, and you have? I think three career starts. Do you feel experienced? Do you feel like you can be there? I mean, I've been here the longest. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about how many games I played. It's not about how many starts I have. I played in all my games, and when I was healthy, I played in mm -hmm. every game here at SC. You know what I mean? And whether I didn't start or not, maybe I should have been a starter, but mm -hmm. I wasn't. You know what I mean? But I have the most experience here, so that's that's. It doesn't worry me at all. The rest of the corners really are a lot a lot younger than you. Right. Do you counsel them at all? I mean, do they look up to you? Right. I mean, Daily interaction. They, they do. Like? They respect me, mm -hmm. you know, and then they and they count on me a lot, and they know that I'm here for them, and they come to me when they need me, and you know they take my advice and they listen to me, and they they're real supportive of me and my position that I'm in. So, mm -hmm. two of the maybe I mean maybe five leaders that people look up to on this team, you and Alan came from the same school. You guys, friends. That, is that interesting at all? Did you? I mean, we talk you? about it all the time, mm -hmm. and it's. It's, it's, we always been like that. We've been playing together since seventh grade, and, mm -hmm. and we've been always been leaders, and we always stepped up, and we always led our team, whether mm -hmm. it was on offense and defense, defense and offense. We always been like that, and it's just an honor and a blessing to be able to do it at this level, mm -hmm. you know, and um, be those guys on the team. It's, it's a blessing. It's not just the corners that are young, but also you know the safeties with Jawan's and TJ. Right. What do you see from them? Do you see them developing? People have yeah, said I mean, since spring yeah, they've been a lot they, better. They, they're stepping up a lot. You know, they they How have so? to. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're being leaders out there. They're playing with confidence. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing leaders do. They play with confidence and they know what they're doing. And I feel like those guys, they feel like you know they're, they're older guys and they're leaders, so they're mm -hmm. taking the responsibility. Did being on the sidelines last year kind of give you the perspective of, hey, I, I see what this defense isn't doing right, and next year I'm going you know, to be able to, to make it right? I mean, it's nothing I can do personally, but do mm -hmm. my job as a corner, you know, uh -huh. and play the call that's called. There's nothing I can really do to change our defense or make our defense better. You know, if I shut down the best receiver on the field, it makes a lot, it makes things easier for our defense. And you know, Coach Kip, Coach Martin Kiffin could roll coverages and do a lot of things if I can really shut down people. So that's the best thing I can bring to the table is be a lockdown corner. So last thing, Christian. I mean, went down in spring, got to be out for this whole year. Every day I practice, he's sitting there, on the, I mean, standing there on the sidelines, looking at the plays. Can you kind of feel for him? Yeah, what he has I to know do? exactly how I feel. I had to do that. You know, <laughs> describe I mean? that feeling for a year, and it sucks terribly, especially when you know you could have been that starter and you were going to be that starter, and you know your defense needs you. Mm -hmm. So not being able to be out there is kind of you got to be a strong. You got to be strong to come out there every day and watch, and you know, and, and support your teammates. And it, it hurts a lot, and I, I feel his pain. But you got to be strong. You got to know that when you come back is you know I mean you're gonna have to really go hard in what you ever did and, and I know he's gonna have a great career here so he's gotta have patience and he'll be all right.